One other type of network drawing you may see is called a rack diagram. So I went ahead and typed in the word rack for a search, and I'll just go ahead and create that rack. And now you can drag the rack in there. You can also increase the size if you'd like. So we'll just take this right to the edge of our document. And now we can go ahead and add in some devices. So I'm going to add in a server. So you can see instead of adding in a vertical server, it adds in this horizontal one. I can add in a network switch. Don't want to forget our UPS. That typically goes to the bottom just because it's very heavy. You can add in a shelf if you'd like to hold things such as maybe a monitor. And maybe you've got your keyboard tray as well. You may decide to have a router and, of course, some additional servers and a storage area network, if you'd like, which they're calling a RAID array here. So if you don't have enough storage inside your servers, you can add additional devices. And take a look at the U's. These are units. And what you can do is, if you don't have enough space for the units you've got, decrease the size of your unit, and you can see the size goes down with it. So it's still a server, but now it's a 5U server instead of an 8U server. Once again, you can change the design if you'd like. And you can add a background as well. And you can even add in a title at the top. And you can add in multiple different racks and increase the size of the document if needed. And you can represent all the different devices that you have in your racks within your local area network.